Hey, come on in. All right, this is Roar Frost. I wanted to do a white beast man. I've seen a couple online and I love them. Uh, I love all beast man almost equally. Um, these are some saber tooth legs from uh, Marvel Legends. Uh, they were tough to get these pieces off. I ended up having to, and it's kind of off camera, sorry about that. Um, I ended up having to put a razor knife down in between and cut a little tab off and then I was able with some heat to get them off uh, not too bad but uh, took longer than I thought and I thought I would have to cut the whole calf and do that but I was able to sand these calves a little bit um, so many builds start with a stripper stratos so if I just sand those down a little bit then those fur pieces would slide on high enough to let me just plug into Sabretooth's feet and I didn't even have to mess with the foot peg hole or anything. I just heated up the foot and really shoved it on there. Uh, and it works pretty good. Um, it, it certainly stays on. What it doesn't do is, uh, because of the fur, it gets in the way of his balance a little bit. But I just put a disc on his foot anyway for, for standing. And that's what I'm messing with there, is just trying to make sure that balance is okay. And he can stand, check, good enough. I don't break down as much as some people for painting. Um, I just kind of get in the nooks and crannies as best I can. I use P3 paints. That is a color. It's actually called Frostbite. And uh, I like it as a base color. I did do white over top of this, but this was my base that all of his body got. And uh, I'm not the best painter in the world, but boy, do I have fun doing it. Okay, so these are, yeah, that, that's his feet. And uh, the fur, I didn't really bother hitting with this because I'm gonna base the fur out in a deep blue later. So this, uh, the head, um, what you're seeing me do is I have a, a different Stripper Stratos chest that I put all of the heads on. And I do that with a flexible hot glue. It's not regular hot glue, that's too stiff. But there's a flexible hot glue that you can use and that head's peg is uh, glued in place so I can get heads on and off of it but set them up to attach really easy. And that head that you'll see better later was actually uh, inspired by that piece of artwork by Gerald Perel. Uh, and you can find him on Instagram. You can go back and, and pause that or whatever. But that piece of artwork inspired me to sculpt that head in uh, Blender. So I did. Those shoulder pads that I'm working on right now, they either came from Legion's shop or Dust Till Dawn or Planetary Dog Toys. I don't remember where they came from. Before I was 3D printing, I was buying a lot of stuff, and I didn't always label where it came from, and they don't always have the best uh, library for me to go back and look and see where I got it. The hands that you'll see in a minute, um, I know I got from RBL3D on Colts. I bought them as Nosferatu hands. Ah, you'll see him in a bit. So the color that I'm putting on the metal is pig iron from P3. I love that color. One of my favorite metal colors. I have two metal colors that I'm just a super fan of. And this pig iron, I think, you know, white, blue monsters should have silver metal and orange beast man should have brass or gold. That's not asking a lot. Coordinate, evil warriors. You must be fabulous. So you can see there's a pair of Stratos hands down there that I painted, but I wasn't happy with them. So while I was starting this, I ended up, uh, right now, I, during this time, I'm printing a set of hands. And this is just uh, standard Beast Man armor uh, arm pieces. And I'm painting those dark blue. Get all the nooks and crannies of your stripper Stratos. It's important. Okay, so the, these are the hands. And the hands are Nosferatu hands. Um, but I sculpted the fur on the backs of them, and I actually made the fingers shorter and thicker because I wanted it to have a little more power. Where They're beautiful hands, um, 
from RBL3D on Colts. And uh, I purchased those there and printed them out, but I also modified them in Blender. Um, if you really want a pair of Yeti hands, let me know. I will contact RBL3D and uh, we'll figure that out. I'll, I'll send him the file to sell you. I'm not going to sell you it because I didn't do the main work of the sculpt. I mean, that's, that's RBL3D who does phenomenal work. Definitely check out their shop. Uh, love those hands. And uh, so here on the face, I wanted to put a little bit of dark blue in some of the depths just so I had a little more contrast. And this is a black and red mix that I'm doing for inside the mouth. Paint everything and then I'll dry brush the teeth after once that dries. Um, but this is it's coat after coat is what it is. It's making sure that everything gets coated well. And then afterwards, I actually spray everything in a Krylon Color Max Clear, uh, flat crystal clear. Everything gets, once the, the figure's done, I don't do it in stages. I probably should, but I should also sand my joints so they don't come off, but I don't. I play with them, but not that much. All right, so this is the white dry brush. Now, every body part is getting a dry brush of white so that light blue color will stay in the depths and then all of my highlights all those nice bone ridges on the feet and on the hands and the hair on the chest and stuff that's all going to pick up that white <clears throat> because i'm doing a dry brush if you only learn one painting skill it should be dry brush in my opinion because it's so useful Here's where the, the legs are tougher because they have almost no texture. The arms have a little bit of that hair sculpt, but the, the legs have almost nothing. So that was a little difficult. And then where I painted deep blue on all of the uh, fur pieces, I'm dry, dry brushing that with white also. So then I have a real hard contrast on the fur where I have deep blue in the crevices. And uh, on the top, it's uh, white. This was actually a pretty simple build, all things considered, because normally I do more sculpting on the figure. Like this one, I didn't have to cut up too much. I, I got to pretty much just paint it. I did sculpt some hands in Blender uh, and a head, I guess. But And then swapping out Sabretooth's feet, because those are gorgeous feet. I'm not like a foot guy or anything, but those are, those are nice feet. Um, and I used his upper on someone else earlier look at that figure let's how do we paint the face details let's go into the details let's look at him all right so this is roar frost that's a play on the word hoarfrost and you can see i got his eyes in there deep blue eye uh, i love those rippy hands beast man's armor fits really nice um i think he is ready for business i think uh he hangs out with icer and uh, maybe he's Beast Man's cousin. Yeah, that sounds good. Roar Frost. And here he is with a pack of Beast Men. Some of those are past Beast Men of the month. I am one quarter of the way through the year, and I haven't missed a month yet. I'm proud of myself. Remember that you have the power. It's your world to make it the way you want. Beast Man says, see you later.